Yeah. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? Hornerbrook. What kind yeah, of uh, winner, threat man. is he? He's a winner. He's a competitor. You like playing against a guy like that. He's going to come out and and uh, do what he's done the last two years. You know, he's he's been right, brought him to battle every every game. He's very efficient on the road too. I mean, his, his stats are pretty impressive. Yeah, he well he is. He he's he takes con most of the time he's in control of the ball, which he's got to do. And uh, you know, they got a great running game, which helps him and complements his passing game. So they've got they've got a, quite a package. They do. Not everybody is getting into the red zone against you guys, but he's also been pretty good in the red zone this year. Yeah, they are. They're very tough in the red zone, and you know, that's something we pride ourselves on. So uh, we need to keep playing the way we are as far as uh, keeping them out of the end zone with the ball in the air. Uh, I know the last couple of weeks we had some late scores on the ground, but uh, you know we've got to continue to do a good job of keeping them out of the end zone throwing. For defensive backs, does it make a difference? I mean, if you're facing right-handed quarterbacks and then you're facing left-handed quarterbacks? No, I've, I never thought of it. Like maybe ball yeah. angle and, and stuff like that? Yeah, no, I've never never came up in, in my time or even, even the guys this week, they've never asked about it, nor have I, we ever th heard about it in previous games with, with Horner Brook. So I don't think it's a big deal. Have you seen Levert take the next step that you expected him to this year? I, I, you know, I want to say that I, I've, I think I've seen all three of those guys take the next step and understand their job and their responsibility uh, to this team, and obviously for themselves. But I, I think uh, you know Brandon Watson, David Long, and Lavert have all just kind of each week just taking little little steps and getting better. Seems like we've been seeing Ambry a little bit more in some key situations as well. Uh, late in the game, saw yeah. you had David Long come off and Ambry come on. What's given him that opportunity to see the field? More? Well, Ambry, Ambry's as we've been talking about, Ambry since spring has done nothing but gotten better. He had a great fall, and he's continuing to improve as we go during the season. So he's the next man up, and he's it, it, it's fun watching him on game day because he's he's always right there, ready to go. So, but uh, he's definitely earned that earned that spot. I don't know if you saw David Long's tweet about responding to some of the criticism, and, yeah. and he talked about how tough it is to play in man coverage. How hard is it to, to play in this defense? It, it, well, you know, I give credit to our guys, our guys back there, because if we don't play man, we don't play this defense. Yeah. You know, so they, they, they understand it. They understand their role, their condition to play press man every single play the game if they have to. Um, yeah, it is hard. It is hard, and that's why I hope they embrace it. And I think they do, and uh, continue and try to work to get better every day. You mentioned Brandon a little bit. Brandon, it seems like he's quietly, maybe not so quietly, in the pick six, but yeah, I mean, he's, having, pick he's six. having a pretty solid year. He's having a very solid year, and uh, that was a beautiful play he made last Saturday for sure. Pick six. How valuable is he? I mean, being a fifth year guy, you know, he's, he's got some experience. How Ex valuable is he? Too? Experience, leadership values, you know, mm -hmm. lead by example. Well, definitely that kind of guy. You know, he's not a vocal guy, but he in practice, he, he works his rear end off every day. You know, Coach Brown, it's, it's funny, we'll watch film together during in the mornings from the night before, and there's B. Watt causing some kind of problem somewhere, some way along the line of practice, and it, and it's, gets, it gets noticed. So he's, he's working hard in practice, which is a hell of a thing. That must be fun, you and Don watching film together. Yes, it is. It, actually, it's the whole staff watching film oh, together. Okay. Yeah, so it's how it, spirited it is does fun. that get? What's the that language? It gets very like? spirited. Well, we're like choir boys in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very quiet. <laughs> when did you know Ronnie Bell was going to have a chance to be as good as he? Yeah, been? well, all those you know, all the young guys, you could see the flash. You, you, you know, there's a lot of guys. Like, Jamon Green is a great example. You saw the flash. He just never took the next step. You know, Ronnie, you saw the flash. He took the next step as a young guy. And really exciting to watch. And a great kid. Great kid to talk to. He's a fun kid. But, yeah, he's he's got some ability for sure. What have you seen specifically from your freshman corners? Well, I... I they need to grow up and get used to being in college and understand that 
it's, it's a little different than being a four or five star guy. You're, you're now a zero star guy and you got to start from the beginning and compete every day and, and get better every day. How's it getting there? They've got a long way to go, brother. <laughs> but but if, as long as they understand that and they come here to work every day, we'll, they'll be fine because they've got talent. I'll tell you that right now. They've got talent. That's why they're here. How much does Wisconsin's run game open up their pass game? Big time. You know, they'll, they'll get they'll they'll get in these sets. They'll just be it's like rugby. I mean, they, these formations, everybody's you know in there real tight and they'll run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, and then all of a sudden, boom, play action and they're throwing. The guys are coming out of nowhere. So the the running game really sets up their passing game big time. It's going to be a challenge for us, and we got to get them in the third downs where they're, where they're a little more predictable on what they're going to do. Is it a bigger challenge for your guys in run support, too? Yeah, it absolutely is. They're very similar to last week, except last week the, they were trying to get to the perimeter. These guys, they're going to hit, go north and south, and it's going to be for, our, for the corners and, and the safeties on the edges. It's definitely going to be, uh, you know, they got to fill the lanes. So it's going to be a, more of a challenge, big time. Does that play into your, into your strength a little bit, though? Having, the, having, having them going more north, north, north and, and south? Yeah. Well, you, we'd like to think so, but I'm sure Wisconsin's, in, in their tradition of running the football, they're, they're thinking the same thing. You know, that, that's what we like to do. That, that's why this game is going to be a, a fun game to be a part of because it's, it's two teams. It's uh, one, uh, one defense that likes likes to pound with the offense. It, it's it's a great matchup. It's going to be a fun night. Do you like night games? No. <laughs> Sitting around all day. <laughs> the noon game's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it really is. Players are up and ready to roll. It's fun. But uh, no, we hey, we're prime time. You gotta love that, right? You gotta Probably love not. it. <laughs> what do you do just, all day? I just never have. I uh, just do, just keep keep busy as far as like just watching film. Just find you, you find more things to, to do, you know, or or shouldn't find more things to think of about the game. But we, we we've got we keep busy. We got meetings and such. So keep try to keep it as normal as possible for the guys. When you when you guys are like watching film on Horny Brook, do you? Are you concentrating more on what he, he's doing like recently, like this year, or, or do you guys kind of revert back to last year's game to watch that? Well, as well? you know, the offense coordinator, Joe Rudolph, he's been there a little while. Uh, good guy. I practiced you know, many years back. Um, so that, that's pretty consistent what they've been doing from year to year. So you look at, you look at it this year, last year, there's a lot, of the, a lot of the same runs, a lot of the same passes. So... Uh, things are very similar so as you go from year to year. Based on what you've seen, is there is there any anything that you can see that Horny Brooks doing better this year than he was doing last year? Well, again, I, I just I've always liked him. I think he's a competitor. He's very consistent in how he plays. He's, he, he's putting it, his heart on the table, and he, he and, and I really respect him. So I don't I don't see anything different from year to year. Just I'm sure. In his mind, he feels a little more experienced and, and better that way. But I just see the same competitive guy as I did last year and, and, and 16. Go back to the young guys. When you said there are no stars now, do you tell them, you know, you've been stripped of your stars? Or... <laughs> yes, they're aware of that the, they, they need to earn their stripes back again. Yes, no doubt. But you, you tell them that? You yeah, them. yes. And, and then some, some of them need to know that. Mm -hmm. You know, th this is... This is a, first of all, it's a hell of a school to go to. So that opportunity in itself, just to get this education is one thing. But then you got an opportunity to be a part of a hell of a football tradition and, and, and actually contribute and play. And those and, and that's why they're here. That's like I said, they're, they're really good players. They just have to learn to adjust, that's all. But they're, they're very talented young guys. When you say that some of them need to be you got to let them know, you know, they're stripping them of the stars. Is that, I imagine the process is probably different from, from guy to guy. Some guys probably take better to it than others. I don't know. This crew, they're all the same. So it's kind of fun. They're just all the same. You got to sit them all down and say, say the same thing, and they 
hopefully we all get it. Because they're very similar. They're all very similar. How much zone, right. how much zone have you guys sprinkled in this year? <laughs> very, very little. Mm -hmm. You know, even, even our zones can turn into man pretty quick. So it's very little. Devin said after the game that the defense, and I don't think he was just talking about linebacker, I think you said defense overall, taking this, you've got to come in and beat us approach, beat Michigan. He said that's different. Have you, have they talked about that? Have you seen? Well, I, I just think in their actions, the way they have practiced, you know, you, you know coaches even talked about, you could feel the team coming together, you know, and uh, I think Devin's leadership has helped. Um, but you, you could see it, you can start to feel it. And hopefully it's contagious and we'll just keep keep coming together and keep getting better week after week. What are, what are you feeling exactly? Well, you, you, the, the togetherness of a team. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, be, they're becoming a football team. Uh, you know, it's, it's not just offense, defense, special team. I mean, there, there's three, three groups that are coming together to form one team. I think that's very important. Is it different than what you've seen the last few years? Uh, I, I think it is, and I think I think the difference being is, especially last year, we, we were just so young and I think a little fragmented, and we weren't feeling quite together, the togetherness. And, and maybe it was the inexperience. Uh, that's what my personal opinion is. Uh, but but now. It just seems like, hey, these guys are getting older. They start to feel comfortable with each other, with the system, and playing together. So that, that's 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 what I, the way I feel. Are you talking just, just defense? No, I can see it offensively, too. And, you know, I think Shea has done a hell of a job of bringing everybody together on that side of the ball. So. All right. Well, here Thanks, time. Coach. All right, thank Appreciate you, guys. You. Enjoy you the week. Jay's baby? How about that? Whoa, are you going to babysit it? Okay, we got Sean had a baby. All right.